That's a beautiful sight right on the water here in Miami. Coming up on the next brief homestand here is the executive games for eight straight now. So a lot of moving parts for Eric. Spoles went to the NBA Finals four. It's where he have all season long here in Miami. Oh, deep LeBron. That's gonna Jesus. Off the rim. Goes right to <laughs> what did that hit? <laughs> Beverly in the corner. <laughs> To shoot to long. I'm a little confused about what I'm seeing. How, how did he hit the left side of the rim? And did he hit the backboard too? Shooting from the front? God damn. That's ugly, but look where he shot from with 15 seconds left on the shot clock. The reason I'm spending so much time on this, why is he shooting from the logo? with 15 seconds left what in history says yeah that's a good decision it, i can't stand seeing these types of decisions when the team is taking the blame that's a terrible decision there's 15 seconds left on the shot clock 10 22 left in the first what the hell is the need for a guy who can't make it from the regular three-point line to shoot from the logo. Someone tell me why he has to take this shot or how it could possibly be a good decision. Why? Because he's wide open? He's always wide open. He's always wide open on the perimeter. No one takes him seriously. So why could it possibly be a good idea for him to take a shot from the logo. <laughs> None of this looks legal to me. It, they just, it's, that's just plain wrestling. But I'm shocked they called it on LeBron even though he deserved it. I mean, watch him. He just walks over to the guy and the first thing he does is wrap his arm around him, followed by wrapping it around him again in reverse. I don't know. I, I just don't understand basketball anymore. We couldn't do any of that shit when I was being coached. But I, I am mind blown that they called one on LeBron. That's amazing. Now LeBron finally makes a three-pointer in this. And I just, I just think it's interesting that all of his sins are forgiven. He was 0 for 7, 0 for 4. Um, he already almost missed everything on a three-pointer this game. So I, I just, when they talk about the Lakers not being able to shoot, if the rest of the Lakers were given as many opportunities as LeBron, do you think the other players might get into more of a rhythm, maybe develop some confidence? All right, you've heard of the Jordan rules. Well, these are the LeBron rules. You can commit an offensive foul and flop right in front of the ref. And, I, and throw in a body slam to, for a good measure. All right. There's the defender, nice and tight. That's legal. LeBron does a swing through, tries to sell it. Defender gets back in position and receives a body blow. I, I don't know. The last one might be legal. But right there, there's nothing wrong with the defender being tight on LeBron. LeBron hits him with his shoulder and swings through, then tries to act like that little dude uh sent his 260 pound ass flying this might as well be the new logo of the nba because they stand behind a guy who flops and this is being done right in front of a ref it is a technical foul and it's supposed to be a fine when reviewed after the game how many fines you think lebron's ever gotten post game hmm Speaking of tacticals, the refs make a tough call on Bryant here, but look at LeBron's antics. I mean, have you seen the way they're calling techs on other players in the NBA? I mean, LeBron is just going ape shit over there, a full-on tantrum, right in the ref's face. I, I don't think it was a good call. I'm talking about the discrepancy in how they call tees on people, and LeBron can do anything he wants. Here goes Russ, doing Russ things. That's impressive. What the Lakers have done to Russ Westbrook is a sin.